On a fine beautiful afternoon we are sitting at Munshi corporate office and in a few minutes we are going to have a little conversation with Mr Rocky Bendy Fakul more known as Rocky who is currently holding the chair of managing director of Munshi so let's go on so sir my very first question to you what does the future hold for Munshi as an HR organization what is the goal with Munshi in its function thank you Bhushpa we are basically an HR company where HR people are our best and strength and um, where we expect is to add value to organizations, other organizations by providing the right people right um, for the right jobs and um, we expect to be in the field of strategic partners in the corporate world of Bangladesh. So which organizations are Munshi currently providing services to? Oh. Um, well, in Munshi, we have three different kinds of companies. You know, we one we have a facility management company, where we pro provide the complete service of uh, janitorial um, facility management, um, and then uh, we also have a payroll outsourcing, which is uh, Bangladesh right now. I think in Bangladesh they call it um, outsourcing or third-party outsourcing. So we have another company where we do that, and we also have Munshi Enterprise, where we send people for jobs abroad, outside Bangladesh. And uh, so, and companies, we work in companies like we have worked with uh, Rasgas from Qatar, LG from Bangladesh, LG Electronics in Bangladesh, Bangladesh we are working with uh, Wipro and uh, in other clients we have is like maybe the AIB University, the City Bank, um, the Dhaka Bank, United University. Uh, Many very established renowned clients we have, Alhamdulillah. As far as I know, you are one of the Harvard Business School alumni among approximate 18 or 20. So, how have you brought the change? Basically, going to Harvard after that only it just came to my realization that uh, that our organization is driven by people. So that is exactly when, um, just instead of sending workers abroad. Uh, we diversify of on people. We divers we change the culture of our company in Munshi, and uh, we went into people like the outsourcing, headhunting, job search. So I think that's the biggest uh, achievement that I've had, or biggest accomplishment that I learned from Harvard is to how to value the people to run the organization. Could you tell us what type of challenges an HR firm faces and do you think an HR firm plays a vital role for a person's success or company's success? People who drive the company, it's the, as, a, as a management or as, a, as an organization in terms of field is the process that drives it but the people who drive that process are the people. So it's very important to have the right people. And that's what exactly what we focus on in uh, you know placing the right people for the right company and for the right job. So now I'm going to ask you about the inception of Munshi. How did Munshi's journey start, and what are your thoughts of current state of Munshi? The parent company of uh, Munshi is actually AP. AP is Ayurveda Pharmacy Dhaka Limited. More in Bangladesh people know as AP Modhu, AP Shorbo, and that is the parent company which I also is to. Uh, work with and in 2007 we ventured out into Munshi, the name Munshi and it started with uh, Sydney Manpower Abroad to we started out with our first batch of people who were getting jobs in Malaysia and then came Qatar, Saudi, Dubai all the countries that you know, that has uh, opened the door for Bangladeshi workers how does a background check work and what kind of things you will look for in a candidate's background check? Background check and there's another word called background verification. It's basically we want we authenticate that uh, what the candidate has placed in their uh, CV is authentic. And, and that basically that's what we do as a background check. But when you elaborate a bit more, uh, what we look in a candidate is basically uh, not just the academics, but also 
their extracurricular activity, their aptitude, their attitude, you know, is it a proactive person or is it a negative person or, you know, so that these are very important aspects that one should look in the background or even in the candidate to place them in any jobs. Sir, could you tell us about some of qualities you are looking for in a candidate according to the today's job market? What we look is not just the educational background, but the soft skills they have, uh, the ability they have to adapt to change. Yeah, and you know, and then also one of the thing is very important is the IT level skills because now the whole world is changing and becoming very IT AI friendly. You know, artificial intelligence, for IR, a lot of things are coming. So it's important that they are adaptable and also they have the right attitude to uh, never say no, you know, and just uh, uh, be positive to accept whatever challenges they come up in front of them. So, sir, what's your bottom line of in, if anything else you want to improve? Well, I think the bottom line would be to, you know, add value to companies, to people, um, you know, people who work within, people who avail our services. Actually, I'm asking about the old age home you were trying to build up or thinking about it. Okay, so uh, that's our Nina Munchi Foundation that we have uh, initiated uh, as uh, as our as my initiation for giving back to the community. And uh, currently, we are working on an elderly daycare center uh, called Sapno. So, I always had a dream, you know, from childhood that. Um, I need to value other people and we need to learn how to value other people at, at, at a later age. And um, that's always been one of my dreams to make an elderly daycare home, you know. Uh, but I guess that that time has not matured yet. I think also I want, we would like to do on the retirement home later on. But initially, uh, right now, what we intend to do is uh, we're going to start a elderly daycare center and it will be called under the name software. Looking at taking care of the elderly on a on a daily basis. So that's money. That's really not our business venture. That's more yeah, like have a Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't money that doesn't bring us on the field of driving it. That thing keeps us on my emotion side where I feel like it's not business is not about the soft ability, but also to give back to community. So uh, I think that's the way we want to make our impact.